Today, we are going to answer two of the most common questions I get every week around signal chain. Little hint, it has something to do with two pedals in particular. I get two questions around signal chain more than any other. It has to do with two pedals in particular. The first one being a volume pedal. Where should it go in your signal chain? I'm gonna give you audio examples so you can decide in just a second. The other one is around octave or pitch. If you run a sub octave or an octave up over your guitar, like an Electro Harmonics Micropog, oftentimes people are gonna tell you to put this at the beginning of your chain. Today, I'm gonna to challenge that notion and hopefully allow you to make an informed decision for yourself. First things first, let's get into volume pedals. At Goodwood Audio, we offer a free pedal board setup consult to see if you wanna get your board set up with us. Part of that call is talking through your signal chain. A lot of times customers will be talking through the signal chain that they prefer and they will start with maybe a compressor, they'll talk about their volume being next, then into their overdrives and the rest of their board. Inevitably, a question I always ask when this comes up is have you tried your volume pedal after your overdrives? Sometimes the answer is yes and they love it at the beginning nonetheless. That is great because they've made an informed decision. Oftentimes though, the volume pedal starts out in the beginning, it works, it makes sense, so they never try volume after their overdrives. The common thought here, just like when you have your volume pot on your guitar and you turn it down maybe halfway, a quarter, your overdrives are gonna start to clean up. It's gonna sound like their gain knobs have been turned down a little bit. In the same way, if you put your volume pedal before your overdrives, that same thing is going to happen. So if you think about this, you can clean up your overdrives on your guitar, and then you will have a very similar effect if you put your volume pedal first. You can clean it up at two spots. It almost seems a little bit redundant. So I often challenge people to put their volume pedal after their gain and notice what the difference is. I will say as a note, if you like having your volume pedal before your gain pedals and you just like having that control with your foot, uh, maybe it sounds a little bit different between guitars, I'm not too sure, that is awesome. There's nothing wrong with this. But by putting your volume after your overdrives, you're gonna get a completely different sound out of it, which I am about to show you. So let's get into this. I will label this on the screen where volume is being placed and have a listen for the differences. Here we go. As you heard there, that volume pedal before the overdrives tends to clean them up and the gain comes in, or the distortion, after that sweep is almost at the top. If you put the volume pedal after the overdrives, that gain or the distortion, the overdrive from your dry section, 
right at the very bottom, as soon as you hear volume coming in, you are going to hear the full amount of overdrive or clipping that you would right at the top. The only thing that changes is the actual uh, loudness or volume of that signal. So in this instance, the volume acts as more of an attenuator than it does something that will change the gain structure of your pedal board. A lot of people prefer this sound if they do a lot of volume sweeps or swells with their volume pedal because they get that texture and the grit of that overdrive throughout the whole sweep. Again, I know I've said this a bunch of times already, neither one is right or wrong. I just want you guys to make an informed decision on what is best for your pedal board. I feel like we've covered this in depth, so now let's move on to octave. The accepted train of thought for octave is that it should be at the beginning of your signal chain. The main reason that I've always heard is that it tracks better or the octave will be more accurate. But I have done some tests myself, maybe you have as well, and for a live setting, I've never noticed enough of a difference to justify this point of view or this argument. I've put octave both first and enjoyed it and after my overdrives and also enjoyed it. Again, like I always say, broken record here, Neither one is right or wrong. You just need to make a decision for your pedal board. About to hear is octave first before the overdrives. You're gonna hear more of the overdrive effect coming through than the octave. Move octave after the overdrives, you're gonna hear more of the octave effect coming through. The reason for this, if you think about it practically, octave first, you're getting clean guitar, putting an octave on it, and then overdriving that signal with your overdrive, distortion, buzz, whatever pedal it may be. So that overdrive is getting the last say on your signal. Put the octave after the overdrives. You're gonna overdrive your clean guitar signal and you're gonna get all that clipping coming through. Then you're gonna add octave on top of that. So the octave gets the final say. You can especially notice this if you use octave up that will be much more clear and pronounced after the overdrives. Let's take a listen to some audio examples so you can hear what I mean and make up your own mind for which one works better for your rig. So as you heard both examples there, you have octave into overdrives, and then you have overdrives into octave. The sound difference is drastic. Which one you like better, or which one you'll tell all your friends is better, is completely up to you. And my personal opinion, I think they both have a place, and it just depends on how you like to use your octave pedal and what you really want to get out of it. I hope today has been a helpful video. I know it's short, sharp, and to the point, but this will give you something to think about and try out on your rig at home with your volume and your octave pedal. Now you have some answers to the most common questions I get around signal chain when I'm talking to people about their rigs. I hope you guys have had a great week so far. We'll see you next week for another video on the Goodwood Audio YouTube channel.